Hi guys, Mamie here. Um, today we're going to be working on a Valentine's card. So I'm going to die cut a couple of <clears throat> hearts here because I don't have any of these big stamps or anything. So I'm going to die cut these hearts, place them on this craft card stock, and I'm going to outline it with the Versamark pen. That way I can put embossing powder over the top. And so I'm just pressing pretty hard with my Versamark pen because um, it's a little... The craft card stock is very absorbent. Uh, well, my the one I'm using is. And so I just go over it pretty thick with a good thick line just to make sure that all of the uh, embossing powder sticks well to the heart area. I, I might need to just replenish my Versamark pen, but it's pretty much been like that always. So it's a great pen. I love using that for little things like this. So if you don't have a Versamark pen, get you one. So now I'm just sprinkling, I think it's called Snow by Recollections, just from Michael's. I think it's detail powder, so it's pretty small, and it works really well. It's lasting me forever. I'm, I'm going to get the Tim Holtz one um, that I hear good things about, but I want to use this one first, but it seems like this bottle will never go away. <laughs> it's still full to the top. I feel like every time I pour out embossing powder back into the barrel, it's fuller than it was when I poured it out. <laughs> it's like magic. So now I'm just using my heat tool here to um, set the embossing powder. And this craft cardstock is pretty thin. I, I don't know. I thought I was going to use it as a card base. Just thought it would be easier that way. But um, in the end, I end up trimming it down, leaving a little peekaboo on top and bottom, and putting it on a regular white card base. So I just need to get some better, uh, thicker, heavier uh, craft card stock. So now I'm taking out my Prismacolor color pencils. Love to color on craft paper with my Prismacolor color pencils. It just looks so good. And it just really makes the colors pop. So I'm picking out shades of pink and shades of red. Uh, sorry for my voice. Um, got really bad allergies here in Texas. So um, yeah. So I've got shades of red and then shades of pink. One heart is going to be pink and the other one's going to be red. And I'm going to start coloring. And I'm just showing you here to make sure you keep your tips of your pencils very sharp. Because that um, helps get into the paper better so that you have better coverage. So I always keep my pencils sharp. And so I'm going to be doing a little bit of shading, but I've sped this up like six times <laughs> the, the speed because um, it just takes a while to really layer your colors with your pencils and make sure you have good coverage. And while I love alcohol markers, I also would have to say that I love Prismacolor, well, colored pencils just as much. And it's because... It's two totally different animals here. I mean, Copics and other alcohol markers, Spectrum Noir and all that, they, they have a certain look to them that I really, really love. And, and it's very bright and bold. But the Prismacolor or any color pencils has more of an artist art quality to it. So I really like that. So it just really depends if you're feeling artsy or if you're feeling just more um, cartoonish. So anyway, um, I'm doing a little bit of shading. I'm still working on my shading. I feel like every time, every couple of weeks that go by, I learn a little bit more about shading. It's so funny. It kind of goes in stages. Like first you want, want to learn about light source and then you have to open up this whole new idea of lighter and darker shades um, 
not just shading as far as uh, a cast shadow, but then like, um, you know, a little bit lighter shade here, a little bit darker shade there, depending on the light source as well. And so it's like every time you think you've you're doing pretty good. You're like, oh, well, mine still doesn't look like I want it to look. Why is that? Oh, because you still have a long way to go. <laughs> you have a lot to learn. So anyway, that's um, been my voyage here uh, with coloring and shading, but I really do love it. And um, I used to always have people not look down on me by any means, but they'd be like, so you color that's what you do um as a hobby <laughs> I'm like yes it's yes I color but I'm not like sitting with crayons in a in a coloring book uh you know just scribbling away it has a little bit uh more um structure to it than that but I uh, don't get me wrong I'll sit with a coloring book and color all day <laughs> But yes, this does take a little bit more skill and a little more time to learn how to do. So, don't feel bad if you've had people kind of wonder what is going on with you in coloring. Because I'm, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> so, now I'm just really trying to figure out my shading here. Um, it's looking okay. I just really like the way it pops on the craft cardstock, though. <clears throat> and so I am just really showing you one heart fully. So I fully am showing you the embossing and um, the, sh the coloring and all that on, on the one heart. And it's pretty much the exact same on the other heart. So I put my head in the way all the time because I have really bad eyes. So, um, yeah, and I'm only, how old am I? Like 30, I think I'm 34. And I already have really bad, oh, well, I've had bad eyes for a really long time. But um, anyway, so I have to get up close to really get the detail of what I'm doing. I don't know if there's like a maximum number for like glasses or whatever. I, I mean, I'm not an optometrist or anything like that, but, uh, like, my regular glasses are, like, an inch thick. <laughs> so, like, I don't know if I'm allowed to go much higher. I try to just kind of take my time um, with my eyesight getting worse and worse. Or, I mean, I should get Lasix, but I don't know. I'm scared to do that, too. So anyway, I just kind of suffer through with the the eyesight that I have. I mean, it's not horrible. I can I can see everything, just not in great detail. So now I've sped up through the second heart and I'm just cleaning that up. And now I am grabbing the Avery L stamp set that's uh has so many cute oh my gosh i just love this stamp set i just got it and it says sending and you can say you know sending good vibes sending um the which one which is the one that i'm going to use sending my love and i really really love this stamp set i'm so glad i got it when i got first got it out of the mail i was like did i order this i don't remember um, but then whenever I pulled it out and started using it, I was like, oh, that was a good order. And it has like this little um, swirly thing here. I'm trying to just figure out the placement. I want to, definitely want to make sure I have room for this little swirly thing because it's so cute. So I'll make it work. And I decide that looks okay. So I'm going to pull out my Versamark again. After I use my powder tool here, my anti-static tool powder bag.
yeah, so the font on this stamp is so pretty. So sending my love. Yeah, if you can see there, that's my tripod. I use that to hold things down sometimes. <laughs> I just got a new, um, I forgot what the name of it is. I'll, I'll remember it and, and talk about it later, but it like holds your cell phone. I just got a new iPhone. I'm going to try to record some videos with my iPhone. I know I'm going to end up breaking down and getting a nice camera, but I'm just trying to utilize everything that I have first because I'm really big on, you know, using what you have and um, just trying to make the best of with what you have. Except for when it comes to my art supplies. I get whatever I want when I want it. <laughs> I'm not really spoiled in any other area except for there. I mean, I don't buy new clothes. I don't, you know, get any fancy jewelry or anything. Um, so I just, uh, I just, I don't know. This is what I love to do. And I just love to see pretty things. Like that little mat says underneath. It says, what does it say? Make pretty stuff. Love it. So now I'm just trimming down the craft card stock a little bit. Isn't that cute? And so now I'm thinking, okay, what kind of finishing touches am I going to put on this card? And I decided I'm going to use, I haven't used them in a while, so I'm going to pull out my Pearl X pigment uh, powders. I think it's like mica powder or something like that. Um, I'm not really sure. Pigment powder. I'll have to look on the box. But it's Pearl X, and it's just like um, Perfect Pearls. I don't know who created it first, whether it was Perfect Pearls or Pearl X. But um, Pearl X is cheaper. Um, but I think Perfect Pearls has like a better assortment of colors. I'm not really sure. I don't use them that often, but I really like them. So now I'm just leaving a little peekaboo. I'm on my card. Cleaning all the extra embossing powder and static powder off of the card. I'm going to pop it up a little bit. I've been popping up everything lately because that roll is so big. I feel like. Use it, use it, use it. You have it. Pop everything up. <laughs> so. And there's my head with my crazy hair that I put up just however. Just wiping off a little bit of the color that um, might have gotten on the white area. And 
I'm not sure why I left that in. <laughs> I guess just to show you that you can just wipe it off if you get colored pencil. Okay, so I'm showing you here the different colors they have in the Pearl X. So I'm trying to find something that matches the hearts. And then I'm going to fill those in. And <clears throat> the Pearl X, like, um, you can get the paper just a tiny bit wet, or you can use Versamark. Um, there's several different ways you can get the Pearl X to adhere. So I'm just kind of painting mine on. Which is one way to do it. <clears throat> and then um, you can also use like Versamark or something like that. And after you're done, you can spritz it very lightly with some water and that will help set it supposedly. So um, <clears throat> you can try that, but I I've noticed that a little tiny bit can still kind of come off on your finger, just a little bit. So I'm filling it in here, making it et extra sparkly. There's so many things you can do with that um, pearl, pearl powders in general. I've seen some really great YouTube videos of some really fun stuff that um, there's a few people. I can't, I can't remember. It was a couple years ago. I can't remember who they were, but <clears throat> they had really great ideas. So you should look up some videos for that if you're interested. Let me know if my head bothers anybody. I don't know why it would. It's just a head. But um, let me know if it is getting on your nerves so I can really try harder to make sure I keep my head out of the frame. I mean, I know it's in the frame, um, but that's just, you know, that's just the way it is. I just uh, can't see very good, so I have to get up close. Um, but I'm sure I can always lift the card to my face if it's annoying anybody. I know my hair looks kind of annoying. <laughs> So now I'm just finishing up here. And I don't know that I needed to spritz it with water since I already had the area moist. But I did just, you know, to be double sure. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is leveled out. And then I'm going to add, um, oh yeah, and then if you get uh, pigment outside of where you're trying to get it, just wipe it off. Wipe it off. Um, don't spritz it until you've cleaned up your area, because then it'll stick to where it's at. But wipe it off before you spritz it, and it'll just come right off. So now I'm just going to fill in the little heart up top with just a light touch of the pearl powder just to give it a little bit of color. So anyway, if you can't tell, I've only been doing videos for, I think, like a year. And um, I'm really trying to get better at making them. It's a very strange thing. And it's a lot of work. So, you know, people that make videos out there, man, I tip my hat to you because it is not easy. Editing and all that takes a long time. 
And well, I bet it'd be easier if I had, you know, state of the art tools and everything like that, but it still, still takes some work. So I wish I could have like a video every day. I mean, if I, you know, had like 40 hours in a day, I would, it'd be so awesome. But you know, the editing takes much longer than the actual making of the card. And it's just because, I, and I told myself, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. It just takes time. It takes time for you to learn how to do it. And it takes time to practice and figure out what's working for you, what's not working for you. Obviously, I have a, I've changed a lot of things, trying different things all the time. And we just moved into a new house. And so now I have to start from scratch again on, on what I want to use and how I need to set this all up. So um, I just got some some can lights so that I can have a look. It's very dark in my new craft room. So I got some can lights and I got that holder for my cell phone. So I'm going to try that. And then if I'm still not happy with th that situation, I'm going to end up breaking down and trying to find a, a very decent camera. Anyway, now I'm pulling out all my sequins. I'm going to just put a couple little bits of sequins so anyway um, if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe because I love having some feedback and you know it's just nice to know that um, somebody is watching your tutorial and maybe getting something from it you know, getting a new technique or just being a little bit inspired. And I, cause I know I get inspired by other people's videos. So it's just fun. It's just all, everything about card making is fun and lighthearted. And you know, when everything else in life is not all the time, I just love it. I just love the community, the Facebook community that we have. There's several, you know, groups. I won't say them out loud because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, but really love all the Facebook groups and all the people on YouTube. It's just so fun and relaxing and positive. So anyway, um, yeah, so the more the merrier and I promise my videos will get better as far as the quality and hopefully as far as the artwork as well the card making as well because like I said I haven't been doing it very long but I figured I'll just go ahead and record everything on my journey to becoming better because I see all these people and I'm like oh my gosh all their cards are so great and it's like where did they start you know how how was it when they started so I just wanted to do kind of the perspective of someone learning and I don't know, you let me know how I'm doing and if you think my cards are cute or not, because, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody has such a different style. So here we're just adding the finishing touches to the card and I'm gonna have some still photos or a still photo at the end. So I thank you so much for spending this time with me. And yeah, so like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.